Hi, this is Challen with your FTW moment. Today I want to tell you how to use a simple deck of cards to help your child with his listening or her listening. Now, sometimes your kid might say something like, like I don't have any memory or I, I can't memorize things and they'll just say these things. Uh, and But you have to really be aware of that type of negative talk and learn how to reinforce the fact that they can memorize things and then you encourage them and then you compliment and encourage and compliment when they do in fact prove that they have ability to memorize things. Short-term memory problems can be uh, you know, a complaint amongst kids who are using too much technology. You know, They don't have to really commit too much to memorizing things and a lot of these things they do on the internet. Uh, at least they don't think so. But uh, you want ways to verbally reinforce the fact that your kids are do have these basic skills sometimes. And this works, using cards naturally is, would work well for younger kids and you can use it at your discretion, but most kids would, don't mind playing with a deck of cards, especially if you're playing, they're playing with you. So a very simple game you can do is just you look at a card, don't show it to them, Tell them what that card is, put it down, and then let them tell you what the card is before they pick it up. And then they'll automatically have that response, right? They, they had to listen to you, so it builds listening skills. It proves that they can memorize something, and then you prove to them immediately. So they do get that sort of immediate feedback that they can listen and put something in memory and then express it. So these, these are three key skills that you're building that uh, you're going to encourage your kids with just with a simple deck of cards. I mean you could use anything but a deck of cards is so convenient, right? So you start with one. Always, when you start a game with a kid, always start at an easy level. You don't want to take any chance of discouraging them by like, okay let's start with ten cards. Let's, let's see if you can memorize ten cards. Um, no, don't do that. If you get them discouraged, they're going to hate it and then they won't come back. So start easy. Make it real easy for them the first time around. Start with one card. Speak clearly. Let them listen. And the, as they master that one card, which in most cases should not be, uh, shouldn't take long, go to two cards. And so the game will be, will progress and progress and progress and we'll keep track. Out. No, I wouldn't go up too fast. I would uh, do a session and then have them have them be successful, feel good about it, and then take a break and come back again some other time. Uh, then work your way up to two cards, three cards. You know, three cards should be not be a problem, but let's not. You know, we want to make sure we give them a tracker record of success so they feel good about what they're doing. So you can re gives you an opportunity to keep on reinforcing these basic skills. So this is challenging with your card game tip for today listening memorizing short term and communicating it's very important because these are skills that will become much more important later as they mature so this is a challenge with your ftw moment and i'll see you on the next video